Good morning. Welcome to SAP Center. Nick Nolenberger joined alongside Barracuda forward John Martin. It is game day, Marty, as the Texas Stars make their only visit to Northern California here tonight. A club that you played back in late October. That was a 6-1 win at the HEB Center, but it's been a couple months since you last faced them. So as you look back, I know you didn't play into that game, but can you take anything from that or you just kind of start clean and, you know, start over with these guys a bit? Yeah, like, like you said, I wasn't on that uh, trip, so I don't know how that game went. Um, Obviously, the score, 6-1, um, it's a little bit uh, different now. They're top of their division now, so uh, they're a fast, skilled team, so we're expecting a heck of a game tonight. You guys are familiar with them with the fact that you played in the same division over the first three years here in the Pacific. Of course, they joined the Central Division this offseason. They made it all the way to the Calder Cup Finals last year, pushed a Game 7 to the Toronto Marlies. There's a lot of guys that have come back from that team. Just from your short experience in the American Hockey League, how much can you learn from, you know, from playoff hockey? And I'm sure they've applied it this season, you know, coming into a year in which they got all the way to a game seven. Yeah, like everyone says, it's a different kind of animal. Playoff hockey, it's a lot harder, it's a lot faster. Um, just getting getting into the game a little bit and uh, yeah. They're winless over their or winless over the last four visiting games. They're 3 and one. They are a really good home team. They had picked up points in five straight home games, but this starts the second of a five-game road trip. You guys, meanwhile, tops in the Pacific in terms of home winning percentage. So, what's it going to take tonight as you try to get on them early and try to pick up two more points here at home? Yeah, I think we just got to play our game, uh, get pucks in, be good in the neutral zone, kind of limit our turnovers. Uh, there's a couple things we got to clean up, and turnovers being one of them. Uh, just putting it behind their D. Uh, it all all lead into a good game and a good win, hopefully. I know we've talked about it a bit just with your game as we, we specifically focus on the way you've been able to play as of late. You're in the lineup on a consistent basis. You've supplied a lot for head coach Roy Sommer, not, not only from a physical standpoint, but adding a lot of offense as well. So what do you feel like in your game has been the key to your success and why you've been able to kind of take that leap in your in your career? Yeah, it's been great. It's been, uh, it's been good. I mean, it's been great playing well. It's been great playing with... Uh, Frankie and Truzy, I owe a lot to them. Um, it's great getting rewarded finally. And uh, yeah, just trying to keep it going and playing as a line, playing good, getting pucks in and getting that close support. The first one win San Jose over the Texas Stars.
It felt like an attorney ago when these two teams last played again. That was on October 27th at the HEB Center. Tonight wraps up the two game season between San Jose and Texas. Texas now members of the AHL Central Division. They come in tonight in that fourth spot. So within the top four, if it were to end today, they would be postseason bound. The Stars this year uh, against San Jose, as we mentioned, they are 0-1, and, and they are starting a stretch in which they have a heavy Pacific Division schedule. San Jose, meanwhile, against the Central, they are 3-0. and They'll play three of their next four games against Central Division teams. They'll play Bakersfield, of course, on Monday, and then travel out to Grand Rapids right before the All-Star break. San Jose all-time against uh, teams outside of the Pacific Division. They have a record of 19-10-2-0. Oh, so they've certainly enjoyed playing outside of the Pacific over their first three and a half years. Tonight should be a fun matchup, a different club that San Jose, again, has only faced one time this year. The Texas Stars starting off their five-game road trip on Wednesday. They fell two to one against the surging San Diego Gold. Reminder to fans tonight, of course, is Friday, so that means it's $2 beers and $1 hot dogs. Also, fans who come for more in their car can park free. Tickets start as low as 10 bucks. You can go to sjbarracuda.com slash tickets or to stop on by the Threat Metrics ticket office here at the SAP Center. Final matchup of the two-game season series between the Texas Stars and the San Jose Barracuda. You won't want to miss it. If you can't make the game, broadcast coverage cast coverage for San Jose and you can also live on listen to the on the Sharks plus SAP Center app and watch AHL TV San Jose victorious in the most recent outing that was on Sunday a 2-1 win against the Stockton Heat we'll wrap up our show by taking a look at those highlights slowly to the right side McCarthy will peel off as well as Hobgawax Gambrell will stay on the ice for San Jose and Olis Matson into the far side. He'll whip one up the boards, take it away by Beater, intercepts Suomela moving in to the forehand. He shoots, he scores! What a move by Suomela, and it gives San Jose the 1 0 lead with just 11.8 seconds remaining in the first period. And Suomela has his first goal since his AHL debut with the Barracuda on the road in San Diego. It's his first third period. 50 seconds left on San Jose's power play here. As that second unit is, it, unit is out there, easy for me to say. Perron now at the left wing side. For Kyle Wood, touched over to True, half wall. Return back to Wood, right point. Rashad Wood scores from the right point of seeing eye Rister beats John Gillies and San Jose is up by a pair. A little subtle move by Wood. I think it allowed for San Jose to get a bit of traffic in front of Gillies and he lost sight of it and it was perfectly placed about a foot and a half off the ice inside the far right post. And Kyle Wood is his third of the season, and it comes on the power play. A big one here for San Jose, and they've got a two-goal lead. The broken stick, you've got to drop it immediately and not play it, and he did, and he got popped for it. Matt Phillips, far side, Lazar moving in. Reichel, point play, follow-up chance, it's Robinson. He scores. Buddy Robinson, the former Barracuda forward, extends his point streak to double digits. It's now a 10 straight games, and he cashes in on the power play. Pebo made back-to-back -back point blank saves. Lifted out of the zone, backhand attempt there by Vail. Well wide, but he's going to race to it. Won't be an icing, he was inside the red line. Just six seconds remaining on this hockey game. One last potential chance, one second, and Dubé is going to run out of time. The horn sounds. The San Jose Barracuda, they get 22 saves from netminder Antoine Bebo, who now has won his last three consecutive games. They improve on the year to 7-1 against the Stockton Heat. And a record.